Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy. <laughs> Oh, man, everybody knows that he's making a splash, baby. So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. This would never go all the way to Hughes. We had a middleman deal with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. Yeah, I do. I think this is our best partner that we've gotten to work with because all the other partners they never want to do the job they want to skip over the job right they're corrupt or something any messages for me hopkins not many you'd want to hear newspapers wanting interviews and rookies cussing you out mostly nothing else pinker wants you in tech services maybe you'll be more popular downstairs because this, you know, they hate us down here. They really do. Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. You talking trash, car? That's what you wanted to say to me? Ah, hey, it's tough. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop. But I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it. But I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. I say we bust in there. You can use the magnifier. Day. There's quite a lot of detail. All right, let's do it. Very funny. I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. All right, so you zoom like so. All right, so we'll go ahead and just get out of here. Maybe that doesn't matter. Let's take this next one over. Okay, now we got some rumbling. Bringing the watcher a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. All right, so we're getting something here. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. All right, so we know, now we know what that is now, right? Because he was working with the government. He was doing some cheese. But we're done with that. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So Tomiko had the goods on McClellan. Too bad they blew the place to hell. Okay. Stay in love and war. Is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? With my eyesight? We've got a house number. Three nine four one. Cole, can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the petri dish. Are we gonna blow this place up, cuz? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Oh, we're blowing it up! It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro, and when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. 
Three little drops. Yeah. Damn. And they were using a hundred gallon vat. Sheesh. All right, so they did us nice dirty. Guy. I felt lousy tolerating. They really did. All right, what is this? Ooh, oh, that's that little thing. Damn. McClellan's patent application. So we have McClellan raising a patent and selling to Hughes and Akamato copying the details for Lockheed. Where does that leave Nicholson? With a great big hole in the ground. Aluminum polishing pet. All right, so we made it. And the door was, or actually maybe it's this, because it's open again, right? It stinks of petroleum. Avgas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's all around the floor. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so we've got gas canisters all over the place. And then, All right, let's see. Another one of these crazy small apartments where the room is right there. Everything is rumbling like crazy. All right, so let's look at this first. It kind of looks like this place might be rigged. Right? It might be rigged to blow. It's actually, I don't know. Let's check in the bedroom. No photo to get. Oh wait, something's rumbling. What is this? Ooh, we got a passport and we got... Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. The Grand Bahama. Hangstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Nips is cleaning up. Cleaning up that work. And the passport is gonna say... Oscar Harrington. Nevada, six foot two. Hangstrom and McClellan are the same man. Uh oh. The gas, Cole, the gas. We gotta get out of here right now. Oh. Look, by the stove. Shoot the gas line, Cole. We're out of here. Hey! We're running through the fire! Sheesh! Damn! Fuck. Oh, he's running! There you are, heel. Come on, he's not getting away from us. Look at that cheeks! Wow! Oh! Oh, he turned down this little street. And now he's turning this way. Wow, he's crossing us over. Oh, he went over there. Holy moly. All right, now he makes a left. We're still on him. Nice. We're still on him. And he's making another turn. Down another alley. Move out the way, people. Don't go to sleep on me. Get it close. We're moving. Oh! Ooh, we're trying not to run him over. We've got the sirens. Oh, what's that? He's running back here. All right, we're getting close. Go faster, cut. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. And look at how he's driving. My goodness. He's on the sidewalk with you. Use security, man, Cole. Stay on mapes. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. All right, let's get closer. Let it fly, baby. Get in close and steer We can't go any faster than this? 
We need a better vehicle. Keep it steady. I'm trying to push this tire. Oh! We're stuck. What a turn. All right, we're still on him. We're still on him. This car is so slow. They did not want us to have a fast ride. Step on it, huh? He's Get turning it again. Uh-oh. Here we go. See, it's so it's so crazy. You got to be on that left side because he can't shoot on the other side. Oh, we got a trophy. And he's turning in there. Stop right there. Get out of the car slowly. Fire a warning round. We're going to have to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, Aim Cole. Aim tires. Whoa! Hey! Wow! We're letting it fly! We're reloading right in front! There goes another car in the back! Actually, we gotta get up closer. Let's get it. How long do you think you can hold out? Uh-oh. He's down. Oh wait, no he's not down. Look at that. Got him. We got another trophy for something. Oh wait, there's a guy behind us. Get in cover. Stay down. All right, let's go like this. And they coming from both sides, cuz. Oh wait, now they coming from over here. All right, we'll move up then. Stay oh yeah, cover. let me take that, take that. Yeah. Is that a golden gun? Something on that gun is golden, baby. Oh, wait. Ah, the hat came off. Wow, it's aiming. It's auto-aiming at the wrong guy. Okay, there we go. Got him. We shooting fast out here, cuz. Woohoo! All right, he's down. He wants to play cat and mouse? Fine. Let's go and get his... Yo, look at this gun, baby. Woohoo! We're here. You can't hide. Let's go. Okay, there goes a guy right there running. Oh, there's a guy inside. He's down to the ground. Got another one down. Oh, there goes one coming out of the plane in the back. He's probably gonna take off. I don't know if that plane can, it can't go though. We good, we good. It ain't ready for liftoff. Oh wait, got him. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Sheesh. Good thing I picked up this gun, huh? Get back here, guy. Look at my partner, what is he doing? Get in cover. Exactly, get behind the cover, cuz. We can go long range. Hey, from way downtown. All right, we didn't quite make that. Got him. Stay down. All right, that guy up there has got a nice machine gun or something. We might have to. We might have to go get that guy. You know what? Oh, what a shot. That was a beautiful shot. Okay, he's letting it fly still, so let's go like this. All right, we got him. You might have to go up there now. Just by the way, out of ammo. And I'm out of ammo. That's tough. All right, so I just messed up. I thought we were going to have that unlimited ammo cheese. Can we pistol whip from back here? Got him. We're pistol whipping. It's just that guy left. Wow. All right, where's my partner at? I wish my partner would do something, right? He doesn't do anything, cuz. Let's run over here. Does he have a gun? It looks like he does not. Look at that cheese. All right, should I try to pistol whip from back here? You know what? Let's run up, let's run up. Let's run up. Woo, we getting close. We getting close, we might have to pistol whip. Got him. Woo, what a shot. That's embarrassing, cuz. 
My partner did nothing in that fight, though. You're gonna have to explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. Case of the decade. Okay, I like how that sounds. We're getting another trophy. We're getting hella trophies in this mission. Only $10 of city damage, another trophy. Look, they gave us back-to-back -back trophies. We'll take it. Another five-star case. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger. It's making me stronger helping him. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to live up to. And what is that? In my case, Lou. He went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on a case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. You look pale, doctor. Uh-oh, it's cold in here, Elsa. It's I think cold I'll close here. the window. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. Uh-oh. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. Uh-oh. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. Ooh! I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. Oh! Look at that! Oh! -hoo! Wow, she got bus driver uppercutted. I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. The next line. So he's going to take the babe. Is she still alive? I mean, I guess maybe she is still alive because she got hit upside the head. But it looks like he might be down to the ground. Maybe that's how it happened, right? They phoned it in before. A different kind of war. Wow. It's got to be one of these places.
The arsonist's a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. All right, so we got the pest control, we got the bug and rodent control, and the rapid exterminator. Looks like a nice establishment on the outside. Help you? How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, we got a... Okay, it might be the newspaper that just rumbled right here. Okay. Crusade against corruption. Peterson pledges to clean up the LAPD. Assistant district attorney makes push for top job. Oh, it's Courtney. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your f***ing mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your f***ing head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon's dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. No, Phelps. You're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. So that was the flashback? Nuclear bug and rodent. So is this man inside here? Welcome to nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator. Big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Oh, well, that's easy work. We walked in, walked right out of that place. Three o'clock in the afternoon. He doesn't care that he's got a blood stain on his arm. He's still pulling up. This door's already open. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well... I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Okay, so it looks like we found our guy. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. And they switched our suit. We might have to switch it back real quick. We going out in style. Let's get it. 
We took off the jacket with it. <laughs> we going out in style, cuz. This is the final newspaper. The face of progress, says mayor of developer Leland Monroe. Property tycoon has a 10 year plan for the city of Los Angeles, Monroe. Humbled by words of praise. All right, let's see what this story is about. Last one of the game. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of charge for lunch? Oh. Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform him. I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. No longer necessary. I'll take care of Jeff Kelso. Look at the feet. Oh, it's a perfect... It's a perfect placement. That is the best free throw line dunk yet. I'm not on the line. That was beautiful. <laughs> Off vert. No dribble. Just caught it and went. Just caught it and let it fly. <laughs>